Hi guys, welcome back to Trust Automation Design from Scratch. So we have covered up all the theoretical concepts and a quick recap of distributed version control system. Now let's see how to install GitHub and uh, GitHub Desktop, and then start with the practical working of all the commands that are available as a part of Git. And let's cover up the agenda, uh, the topics in the agenda, one after the other. So this is the main URL from where we need to download the GitHub, sorry, local uh, Git desktop. Once you download it, so once you have downloaded, just click it and click on click S. So you can see the information reads. Uh, click next to continue. Click next. Next, 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 click on next, click next to continue, click install. So once we have done it, a git desktop will be installed. So I have already installed, so I will just keeping up the process. So as we have seen, this is what we have covered up now. We have been installing the Git desktop version. And once it is done, we click on install. Once installation is done, to verify whether the installation is completed, navigate to Windows, type git bash. So you can see, git bash and git, uh, git hub desktop will be available over here. So it implies that git pass is the command line version and github is the GUI version for maintaining the local repository. So click on git pass. So this is the git version which I have been downloaded and installed. So let's open git pass, sorry git desktop. GitHub desktop with the GUI version. So GitHub desktop has been launched. So this is how GitHub desktop looks like. So we can see there is uh, menus which are available. Then add a new repository, add a local repository, clone repository, and then undo changes repository list, branching, repositories. So everything you can do from here itself. This is a GUI version, and this is a command line version. So whichever it is feasible, we can work on both things. And we will be seeing the GUI version, and also we'll be looking at how to work with Eclipse for Git. So this is the, pre uh, this is the basic prerequisites while working with the Git in the local uh, system, so we need to install uh, local git repository, sorry, local git, github desktop version. So we need to verify whether the git has been installed successfully or not within the git hyphen hyphen version, and or you can see like the git bash and the git uh, stop has been installed. So thank you guys. This is for installing the github desktop version. Once it is done, then we'll be looking at the next next things. That is the day-to-day -day commands of our git we'll be verifying. 